Folks, the barn looks a little bit different, doesn't it? We got that old racking out that was sitting right here going this way. Finally got that out and you'll see a couple new sections along that wall and that wall back there. Looking pretty good. A couple tweaks I need to make. Well, one, they brought the wrong size, uh, the wrong width, uh, um, racking or shelving, actual, you know, wire shelves for one section over there. So they're going to bring some new ones. But two, I kind of didn't pay attention to um, the overhead obstructions. So I think I'm going to lower down the top shelf on that, on both units actually. That way, you know, we have the fork frames way up there. I don't want to accidentally whack a, uh, a radiant heat tube or maybe even the garage door tracking. So anyway, I'm gonna lower that down a little bit, make it more useful, but it's looking a lot better. It is late April, it is snowing outside. I don't know why, I couldn't tell you why. So we're gonna do some inside stuff today. That whole ranger bed is full of things that I've been putting off for a, a rainy day, but we're gonna call it a snowy day. So let's get to it and see what we have going on. All right, folks, so a lot of stuff going on here. Start on top. These guys, gotta get these out. I've actually had these for a week and a half. They say you wanna get them out early in the season. I bought six of them. I was gonna make them. Maybe we'll make some next winter if uh, we get some more, but bluebird houses. So I've got a post hole digger, Oregon post hole digger I'm gonna show you. So uh, the Oregon, and we have work saver post hole diggers as well. Um, they have different series, okay? So the smallest series have shorter augers on them too. So they're for limited lift height on like a subcompact or a compact, a small compact tractor. We're gonna use that on the Summit tractor. Um, reuse some posts that we already have, put them in the ground, mount these bad boys to them. They say early spring, so we probably missed that window, but then some other websites say, get them out whenever they'll use them year round. So we're gonna do that. Got these off of Amazon, they look pretty nice. Oh, let's see here, next up, this thing we're gonna mount today. If I like it for out here, I'm gonna get one for my, my garage too, but a wall mount, I'm trying to, I wanna keep as much stuff off the floor as possible. And so out here we have a little um, storage closet where I'm gonna put, we showed you that uh, air compressor, the, the bigger air compressor, we're gonna end up putting that in there. Probably all I need, and then we're gonna mount this hose rail on the wall over there too. Uh, this one has, where's the length? Does it not say the length? 65 foot. Oh, there it is, geez, right down there. 65 foot of hose on here. I think this will be sufficient. We do have 100 foot long, but we're mounting about right in the middle. It won't reach the far corner, but I think that's okay. I think primarily in this area is where we'll use it. So that should work out good. I think that'll be an easy installation. Uh, I got some more of these traps. I love these scissor traps. I had a couple at our old house and I didn't use them for years. I, can't, I don't know if I gave them away or what I did with them. But uh, we have a serious, like the worst mole problem I've ever seen out here. And so I need to get rid of them. Um, they are ruining the yard bad. So got to get these out really soon here. Um, I've made videos about this. There's a, I got a popular video actually about mole traps. These things work great. So we're going to see how they do on this property too. This guy here I got for the gator and man I'm hoping it's the right thing I looked it up on John Deere's website the the part and then I googled the part number just to make sure and I couldn't find any visuals on it uh, besides just their diagram so we're hoping it's the right thing this battery cover should not have to be replaced but it just kind of like pushes on to stay in place there's no good way for it to not fall off. It's almost like sheer luck. And so our battery cover somehow just fell right off and we never found it, which is crazy because you're just driving on the same trails all the time and it's just never appeared. This guy right here, there's no other hardware or anything else to keep this thing on. I think it's just this, these little, you know, tabs here and this tab up top that you just kind of push in there. Let's go put it on, see if it fits. And also, let's see, brand new, brand new John Deere black plastic versus original, okay? There's our doors. We got our doors fixed up good. They looked about the same. They're, again, I still got to put that second coat on there, but compared to where they were, they're looking good. This little thing will go right in there. These tabs just go right down here. But this is this is how this thing stays on, which is kind of mind boggling, if you ask me. 
So ours fell off somewhere out there. It looks way better now though. Feels good. Yeah. Nice. So that was easy. Already done. Man, I would every I don't know why it can't all be that simple. But if it comes off that simple too, that's that's a problem as well. Um next up, let's see. Oh. I think I know how we're gonna close this video. We got some new basketballs here. And uh Mr. Cameraman beat me before we started shooting video. But maybe what? Four to three, he still won me, beat me, best of seven. He started out, we played best of seven around the world. He started out with a 2-0 lead. I came back, tied it two to two. Then you went up three to two. Then I tied it three to three. And then he smoked me in, in game seven. So I challenged him to a rematch. Oh, this is a smaller one. There's gotta be, I ordered a couple of smaller ones for the kids and then a couple bigger ones. These must be the smaller ones here. Well, that might be a bigger one. Yeah, yeah. Got some new balls. No excuses. Oh, they're a little, little tacky, a little sticky till too. You know, that's nice. So anyway, got a bunch of these balls. Stick around if you want to see how that match, that rematch, shakes out. Ooh, good one. We're gonna have to pull the Summit tractor inside for this. I want to do this right now. This is a game changer right here. Folks, absolute game changer. And uh, somebody had asked me that had bought a Summit tractor if I knew what hydraulic top link to get. And I was like, I don't know. I have not done any research on that yet. Yada, yada, yada. And they did the research and found one on Amazon. So uh, the same brand that I bought for my Kubota M4, uh, they bought the same brand, just a smaller version for their Summit tractor, said it worked great. And so we're gonna install a hydraulic top link on the Summit tractor today. And I'm telling you, if you've never used a hydraulic top link, you will hate using a tractor after having a hydraulic, you will hate using a tractor that has a manual top link after you've used a hydraulic top link. It's like just an absolute game changer on just hooking up to three point attachments, disconnecting, using different three-point attachments. It's, they're just incredible. So let's get this thing installed. So the Summit TX25 comes standard with a rear remote on there. And so that's why we're able to utilize this hydraulic top link as well. Most tractors don't have that standard, but if you do add on rear hydraulics, get yourself a hydraulic top link. I'll post a general link to where you can get these uh, hydraulic top links on Amazon. Something else that's pretty sweet. We showed it a while back. It's called the Easy Wheel. So like on the 1025R, for example, um, with just a regular old manual top link on there, you can add on the Easy Wheel. And it really does make it so much easier just to lengthen or shorten your top link. It's just a big old wheel that's on there. You can turn it really fast. Helps to keep it grease, of course, but a pretty sweet solution. You just take out these little plugs. You're just going to screw on the hoses. So super easy as far as that goes. And then we're going to end up removing our high or our, our manual top link okay to interrupt this really quick i am to the point where i'm going to get an entire new tool set for out here and i found one i think the most complete one i could find so i'm looking for your advice there's a husky over a thousand piece tool set out there it's got you know all sorts of stuff right so thinking i might get that one if you've got a different a different one in mind let me know. I mean, I don't want to break the bank, and that one seems to be fairly reasonably priced, um, around $2,000. I had just missed a sale at Home Depot. It was like $1,700 and change, so it is more expensive now. But then I need to get a tool chest to store them all in. And man, there's way too many options out there, and regular duty, standard duty, heavy duty, professional duty. All this kind of stuff. I mean, you, you guys know you can, like the snap-ons and everything else, you can spend crazy money. And so I am trying to decide how big of a tool chest to get. I'm assuming, like everything else, get as big as you can possibly afford, just like a gun safe, a pool barn, you name it. But um, I don't know. So if you have advice on what way I should go, I'm, I'm in my cart right now. I've got a, a professional grade Husky tool chest. I've got a uh, heavy duty grade tool chest. I've looked at 
Dragonfire, maybe it is, something like that. Um, I, there's just way too many options. Some have lifetime warranties, some don't. I don't know. I, you know, do I buy a $1,000 tool chest? Do I buy a $5,000 tool chest? Do I buy a $10,000 tool chest? It's, it's too many decisions. So let me know what you would do on that. This is just for at my barn, by the way. This is not the shop where, you know, my business. So um, if that helps you decide what you guys might have done, just a general kind of thing, you know? I mean, tractor stuff, put things together, whatever else. I can't be the only one out there grappling with those decisions. Oh, it's just got holes in it there. And it just sends the hydraulic fluid through those holes. Hmm. That's interesting. I have not seen fittings like, like that before. Oh, you've been paying. Did you pay, did you pay for the last two? Yeah, we went. Really? Oh, I did Apple Pay. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't want to get a third one, but I do want to get a double portion. Oh, you don't? Actually, I'm going to do this to get this. Uh, huh? Actually, I just want them to be identical here. Yeah. Take that guy there. Come on. There we go. Oh, good. Okay, so these are both fully retracted. So this is their shortest, well, almost. That one's got a, a touch there. Okay, now they're both fully retracted and this manual one's just a hair longer, no big deal. Um, so typically if you wanna size your top link, one of the main things you need to do is get the shortest position and then you know, unthread both of these to the maximum length and get the longest position and that's gonna determine your stroke length and typically you're just gonna get a, a hydraulic top link that is as close as possible to that. Um, so this one's just a hair shorter, no big deal. Obviously I don't know, I don't remember what it'll say in the listing, but uh, the maximum stroke length as well. But you can pretty much figure if you're about the same on the short end, you're gonna be about the same on the long end. This is actually the first time I've had anything hooked up to the rear remote, as far as I can remember. So we'll see how that works. There we go. Yeah, that hanger is not going to quite work for what we wanted to. Maybe I could get some bungees if we ever needed to hold this up, but you don't need to hold up this uh, top link, whether it's a hydraulic or a manual if you don't have a quick hitch on there because then it wants to drop down. But if you have a quick hitch on there, no big deal. Tip for you guys, no matter what hydraulic accessory you're adding onto your tractor, you're not gonna have any fluid in the hoses or in the cylinder itself. So you're gonna have to work these, uh, your, your, your lever on there on that um, circuit to get the fluid to go in there for a while. So you're not gonna see any response for a little bit until the cavity and the, the dead space fills full of fluid. So depending on how much space you need, you may wanna also then afterwards, after your tractor cools back down to normal, top it off on the hydraulic uh, fluid level, that way it's, you know, it's where it needs to be. Forgot to tighten these fittings down, folks. Bear with me just a minute. Boy, I was just getting getting a little excited there. A little ahead of myself. These are nipex, these are not channel locks. There's there's no grooves, there's no there's no marring going on. So relax there, tool heads. No fittings were damaged in the creation of this video. Alright. You said pouring out. There's not even there's hardly any hydraulic fluid anywhere. Oh, I've seen way bigger puddles than that. All right. Ready? No leaks? Make 
sure how much tighter I can make those. Oh yeah, it's still a little bit more. I wonder. That's strange. I'm gonna raise the whole thing up and down just to make sure the range of motion is kind of affected. So let me know if it looks like it's gonna pitch something. Alrighty, folks, game changer. We are all set. Just had to retighten a couple of those fittings. Um, this little, is that a bolt right there? That bolt head just makes contact with the top of this little whatever bracket thing, hanger thing that you can put your top link in, but uh, no big deal. Just literally just bumps into it, just touch the paint there. But uh, that is something I'm really happy about. We're proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of rim guard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at rimguardsolutions.com. How do you get it back in? How's it go back in? Oh, it's <sighs> it hasn't fallen off yet. Still going. <laughs> that was good enough. Oh, but it wants to go back in. How do I keep it from... How do I keep it just staying out? Oh, there we go. Something to do about the, how you yank it or something. But anyway, this will work. But I will say, now that I have them out of there, I almost think it would be great if I just put it right above the door, just kind of route the, the hose on the inside of the uh, closet to the side so it's not in the way. But then my head's not gonna hit it at all. But I'm not going to be in that closet very often anyways. I don't know. It'll probably stay there forever, but you get the idea. All right. Made it part way. I think you got to really let it keep going. Don't slow down its momentum. Like that. Nice. Kill, kill, kill. We'll finish that up later. Last but not least, folks, get yourself some GWT swag. I don't keep any of the profits from this stuff. Got shirts, hats, sweatshirts, stuff for babies, stuff for your dad, stuff for whoever. Some faux leather keychains too. Get those on there. I bought a whole pile of them for myself. So all this stuff is made to order. We uh, partner with the company and they've got a link to it on our website. And you go there, it's made to order, ships out normally in a, in a a couple of weeks something like that um but they've been a really good partner for us and we donate everything all the profits anything above and beyond our costs go to charity so if you don't have anything else you want to buy and you want to 
I don't know, get something, get a get something new to wear outside on the tractor. Help out a good cause. That's a good way to do it. There you go. Dress them up nice. Oh, what key goes where? Okay, I think I can figure it out. I don't even think I've shown you guys this, but actually a good idea that uh, I know a lot of you guys have broken off keys on some of these tractors, but look at that, folds flat. Pretty good idea from Summit, just like that. Alrighty folks, well there you have it, a little odds and ends video. I think it stopped snowing out there, so who knows, maybe we'll get outside and do some work after all today, but hope you enjoyed. Chris says no, we'll see about that. We're gonna go get lunch right now though and then play some basketball. Gotta get our priorities straight, you know. We'll put some links down below too, so if you wanna get some of these products, you can, the mole traps, the birdhouses, the hose reel, the top link, whatever else we talked about. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button right down below to tag along. If you're in the market for something for your tractor, for the front end loader or the three point hitch, we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country every day of the week. Prices include shipping, rewards, and financing too. I wanna to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah. <clears throat> Bad. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <sighs> Forget it, forget it. All I'm doing is running around. Air ball. My arm's like not working. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Air ball, savage. Oh, I go back? I thought I missed a turn. Is that uh... No, that's if you're like, oh. Okay. Oh. Man. Oh. I, my arm is like something happened to him. He's a little uh, camera shy. No, I'm on camera all the time. So close.
One zero, not even close. Nope, it wasn't. Wow. I think same as earlier. Front rim? Yeah. I thought I launched that sucker. <clears throat> can't can't make a shot. <laughs> what? That was the most garbage I've ever seen in my life. Gosh, just like scrape the rim the whole time. <sighs> I got cocky. Got cocky. I laughed at you, huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I haven't even got past this shot. I don't think have I? Yeah, you just went back. Oh my gosh! What is happening here? I can't, literally can't do anything. I'll just put, I'll put you out of your misery for this round and then we'll just start up. Oh. Uh-oh, short. <sighs> nope, literally can't make a shot. Can't do it. Uh, you went first anyway. Can't make a shot. Can't do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you know? Three games, the farthest I've got. This is exactly what happened last game. Uh, last ah! round. What? Exactly what happened last round. 2 0, and then you pulled the quick. Yeah, well, you make like five in a row every time. And then I, I would be undefeated. This is what was I saying? That's you just three. make every freaking shot. It's only three and one of them is a layup. Oh, that was an ugly shot. Though. That was ugly too. Too far. Oh, I really. <sighs> All right, here we go. Yeah. This is my most made shot right here. It feels like the easiest one. To make. Nope, not 
not even close. Like almost, yeah. what is happening? All right, I need to lap you. And go up three nothing. Oh my God. These are bad shots. Not even close. Not even close. Too far to the right. So I guess they should just aim left. Not even close. Like I'm just like throwing bricks. Oh. I don't know how many chances I need to get. Nope, my shot. I lapped you, so it's my shot. Oh, well, you get two more shots. Big lead here, big lead. Horrible. Three zero, getting spanked. Glad this is on video though. Yep. Well, that's gonna be the comeback of a lifetime though. No problem, I can miss them all day. Oh my. Not came out of that one. <laughs> Something. Short. Couldn't have an ugly shot. Man, what is, I haven't got hot once. Ugh. Just need to get hot. Need to get hot. Run out of time. Uh oh, short again. Uh, not short, right, whatever that word is. Not even close. Not even close.
Mm -mm. Ugly, ugly shots. Jeez. Oh my gosh, this is this is a train wreck. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he is really keeping it together compared to normally. Because he has a camera. I'm like shooting like 10%. That's a horrible shot. Thank goodness. I'll get that in a sec. Uh. Really needed an air ball there to get you, get you set back. Just flat out bricks. Oh my gosh. This is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> we don't have to put this on. Uh, wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just got destroyed. Oh, that is it. I was thinking I had to win That's five. Four zero. Oh. That's four zero. That's four zero. I, I, don't think I never even got past this point in any game. I thought you were ever really. No, never got past this point. I made like 8% of my shots. It's the worst I've ever played. Yeah, it is the worst I've ever played. I can't, I can't do anything. I literally can't make a shot. Still can't make them.